Well, I first get on this ranch about 1964. I was 13 years old. My parents owned a farm implement dealership, and they wanted me to work there, and I liked the hide and hair aspect of it, not the nuts and bolts. So they sent me to this ranch to Mr. Williams. He was pretty tough, I understood, and uh, figured they'd break me from wanting to do this. He said, I'll see you Monday morning. It's been downhill ever since, <laughs> so that's where I'm at. We used to run about 90-something gelding saddle horses on this ranch, and my job was to ride the young horses and the bad ones. And I was young and dumb and was pretty agile at the time. Did pretty good. Uh, you, you learn adequate, you learn discipline. I was at a gifted time to uh, see all that getting done. I feel sorry for the young ones nowadays, they don't get to have that opportunity. And it's long gone. Well, this ranch really was started from a fellow by the name of Tom O'Connor. He came over from Ireland as a 16-year-old boy. So that's, that's a lot of heritage. I mean, this is one of the families that's been in this area a long time. Martin O'Connor was my grandmother's father. So he'd have been my great-grandfather. We've done the same thing for 100 years. I want to keep doing it. <laughs> I've been blessed to be able to see the same country and do the same thing for a long, long, long time. Well, the cow herd is a, is a commercial cow herd. Over the last lot of years, we have incorporated Beefmaster bloodlines throughout the cattle. Steve and I introduced Beefmaster to his grandfather, oh, back in 1992, I think. We gave him five bulls to try. Well, he stuck them in a pretty good place and put them on some good country, and pretty impressed with the calves. So we got along with it pretty good. Next thing you know, he's one of our sales. Next time he bought him a pile of them. And uh, we've been infusing them as we go here on this ranch. Uh, we can take a short leg cross kind of cow and breed her to beef master bull. And instead of that being a terminal calf, we can also use those heifers as replacements. It's made them, made them worthwhile for us. Of course, we're putting two growth breeds together, but we do sell pounds at the end of the day. And uh, our short leg calves are still very marketable. We're shipping 30 days earlier than we used to. So that's a, that's a major plus. We used to wean in October, November. Now we wean in September, and weaning weights went over 100 pounds heavier. Every place I've ever gone with, with my cows here, they uh, they gain upwards of three pounds a day and plus. They, they do really well in their transitions. E6 stands for the six essentials of Beef Master. A set of cows, and if you're coming through the E6 program, it's just kind of like a stamp of approval. I think you can put a lot of story in it, and I'm a lot of stake, and go ahead and go for it. So.